But High on Life looks way better. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Dude, High on Life looks really good. It's my type of game for sure. Hello and welcome. My name's JD and with me today is my good old friend Alexander Gonzalez. Who wants to go with me to watch Lightyear tonight at midnight? Is that coming out tonight? Yeah. Oh shit, that's crazy. I didn't know. But please remember that we are not game devs. How are you doing today, Alex? I'm doing pretty good. I'm not sponsored by Lightyear, but did you know that there's three post credit scenes in it? No, but I think it's weird that he doesn't look like Buzz, but I guess it kind of makes sense because there's like multiple Buzzes because he's just a toy. So he's probably just another Buzz toy that just looks different for some reason. This Buzz Lightyear, you? it looks like him. It just looks like a toyified version. It looks like a weird version of Buzz. Like his hair and his chin's all different. He looks well, weird. Look yeah. Yeah, he's just yeah. a he's a living person, man. And and he's voiced by uh uh what's his name? Mark Wahlberg? No. Don't not Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Don't say that. And that made me almost Patrick not... Warburton. Patrick okay, Warburton. You, you almost made me not by. want to go to the movie. Hey he's guys, look at by... me. I'm in space. Can you believe hey guys, this? It's me, Joe. Yeah, I like How that. How y'all doing? I like that better than Oh my God, we're all floating in space. How long has it been? I used to do that with your grandma, you know. No, 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 not like that. But those are not the voice actors we're talking about today. Today, we are creating something new. Every week on We Are Not Game Devs, we imagine a brand new video game idea from our minds. Join in on the fun, be creative. And if you have your own unique video game idea or want to patch it into ours, write in to at poundgames at gmail.com. Today is my turn to present We Are Not Game Devs 111th IP. 211. 211th. Is it 211th? No. No, that would be if it was a fraction. So if we did 210 of that 211th. 211ths. I don't know. Um, I want to make essentially a barber simulator. So you are a barber. Someone walks into the, your barber shop. You say, Could Sit you imagine down. we go the other way with it? I just want to make a simulator where you get your hair cut. You get your hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> and you feel you get to go through the shampooing. You get to feel the buzzer around your ears. We do spatial oh, that'd audio. Be hilarious. What's the game? You just sit there. <laughs> You just wear it. It's a VR game. You just put the VR headset on and it has the, the PSVR 2 has a haptic feedback so you can feel where the hair is getting buzzed and shit. Choose from several small talk options. And then when you look in the mirror, you get a different haircut every time. <laughs> uh, but no, so uh, you, you they sit in and then it's like going to be first person, right? And then they sit in and then they get there. And then you have... I want to say like a limited amount of tools and resources available to you at first. And then you do the haircut. They ask you what you want or what they want. And you do the haircut and it, the game will teach you how to do certain looks. So it'd be like, this is how you do a fade. This is how you do a straight cut. This is how you do a razor cut. This is how you do layers. This is how you do, uh, the thinning out thing that they do with the brush. That was also a, knife i don't know how that thing works but it it feels fun when they do it the texturing oh the texturing yeah yeah um all that shit it teaches you how to do and you gotta do it in the game with like i don't know your two joysticks on your game pad i guess and it'll imitate actually let's make this a vr game so on your oculus rift things or your move controller things and then you just do your thing and <laughs> Of course, it's going to be the most realistic hair graphics you've ever seen in your life, where it, the hair falls like hair. There's thousands of hair follicles that are actually in live, real life, like uh, action, where it's like actually all individual pieces of hair and it all falls like natural hair. Um, but yeah, what do you think? I think we can make an interesting game here. For some reason in my head, I keep picturing this game being in an arcade like round one and then being very arcadified where it's like, now 
great haircut. Begin. And it's like, bum, bum, bum. And you're like cutting hair. And then it's like sideburns. Great job. Other sideburn. And then it's showing you how it looks. And then he's like, my day's going great. And then you're just cutting hair as it as uh, you're going and then it'll show like what you're supposed to do in a little mirror. And then it'll like, you'll start doing the motions, you know, like it'll mime the motions for you. And then when you complete like every little mini task, it'll be like, great, good job. Fantastic. And then it'll add up to the point where if you get enough fantastics in a row, the customer will really like the haircut, but you can also mess up, but it'll show you all the motions each time, unless you choose like expert mode. Mm, mm, mm. Um, I could definitely see that as an option. Uh, but I don't know. I, I feel like I like the idea of it just being high fidelity, super close cuts. And then it like the grading system is how close you got to what they wanted. And if your fades perfect, you get like a certain gr grade point and then they tip you a certain amount. And then that with that tipping money each round, you could like upgrade your kit or whatever. And it like makes it easier as you, uh, and be able to do more styles and stuff. And then eventually do beards and mustaches and such. Mustache. I, I'm I'm in agreement with the whole fidelity thing. All I'm saying is you're going to need a tutorial window teaching these people over and over again how to cut different pieces of hair and what the game is looking for and then instantly reward them for those things and yeah. make it feel good because you need to have pleasurable sounds and pleasurable things happening on screen so that way it, it feels fun to cut this hair. I think what it would be like is exactly what you said, where there's like an easy mode and then an expert mode where easy mode, it's going to have kind of like guidelines showing you like holographic guidelines, showing you exactly where to cut and how to do it. It's yes. just up to your precision to do it perfectly. <laughs> Whereas yeah. an expert mode, it's just, just go cut the dude's hair, fucking do it. And I think the hair falling down is going to look really nice. And then you do the fucking ch -ch -ch, the spray bottle to make the hair wet before you like start snipping, you know, do the comb with the sit, 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 sit. I don't know. Um, I know nothing about like how haircuts actually work. Uh, now, but hey, that's all, that's all cool. And you can also do the shaving. You can do a close shave. Um, the thing is, we're just talking about barbershop hair. So we're just talking about men's haircuts. Do you even want to delve into the world of women's haircuts? Yeah, I think that could be there where it's like you so also if we have do, to. If we do all haircuts, then we got to do haircuts of um, different textured hairs. Because mm -hmm. one thing yeah. I've noticed is. Um, in my experience. Black people, white people and Asian people all go to their own barbers who are experienced in cutting their kind of texture of hair. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm wrong in that. I know that there's black barbers and then I'm pretty sure there's Asian barbers from what I've seen that are only skilled in cutting the hair. Um, that like that kind of straight texture. So we got to include all of that because then at least that's what I'd be interested in. I'm like, how do you cut that hair? What kind yeah. of styles are for that hair? I, th I think we'll teach there'll be tutorials for each hairdo um, for every style and every type of hair. And we'll show you exactly how to do it and what it involves. And you have to do it perfectly. Do you want to change then, it up too, where the, where the level changes, like depending to, because we can have a bunch of different barbershops or if you're cutting a kid's hair, you're in a kid's barbershop. Or, I think it's just everything. Yeah, you you don't know. It's It's just... Whoever the game will put someone in front of you and then it'll give you the tutorial and you just got to start doing it. And then, and then eventually are, it'll like start not even telling you, you'll be like, I want to fade. And be like, well, I've done like three fades already. Yeah, let's fucking do it type of thing. And then you got to like, they'll tell you the specifications and then you do what they ask you to do type of thing. Um, and I see it also like 
yeah, sometimes you'll do the whole thing where you do the, the, the face massage, the facial thing, and then you do the shampooing and all that stuff would be in there. Um, and I think it'd be a fun option where you could choose the barber and you could unlock new barbers as you play the game. And each barber will like make different comments talking to the customer. What if like there'll be a different attitude or personality? What if then you can start cutting also like hair that's very unique, like Goku's hair or cutting like Bob Ross's hair or cutting um, who's who's else's hair is very unique. There's someone who doesn't have a who has a hairdo like no other, like super hairdos that are fiction. The weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Doesn't he have weird hair? He does. He does seem to have weird hair. I can't picture him right now, but I can imagine it. I also can't <laughs> picture him right now, but for some reason, I think he has weird hair. Who else has unique hair? can't think of anybody that's it but yeah no i don't think every haircut's gonna be just regular haircuts like i think sometimes someone's gonna come in and be like i want this half shaven this side with a fade and then a mohawk on the top but, like okay. i think you'll get random requests like that are you gonna be able to braid hair like can you do cornrows yeah i think that's gonna be a part of it as well okay that's gonna be tedious as fuck we'll gamify it somehow yeah I don't know how. Maybe it'd be like a rhythm game where you're like that, 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 that. And each time you hit X on the rhythm, you're like, ch -ch 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 okay. Ch -ch. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Obviously, I think there should also be like free play where it's like so you choose the length of the person's hair and, that comes and in. That way you can fuck it up. And you just go to town. You can you do can whatever you want up. to this dude's hair, and this person's hair. And then the sim just singing in that chair is like, ooh, a gadabla, who go mm. mm. <laughs> Is getting upset with you as you're like. I think it's going to be fully voice acted where oh. like, it's going to be like, hey, Bob, how you doing? Hey, Charlie. Good. So how's the wife? Oh, uh, yeah, you know. You know, it's the same old, same old. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know how it is. I know how it is. <laughs> Most definitely. So you still watch that show? Oh, yeah, yeah, you catch that last episode? Nah, nah, I, I, I trailed off. <laughs> it's just, and then, yeah, you get different personalities where some will be like the type of barbers that tease you all the time. You know what I mean? Or the, they're the type of barbers that just talk sports the entire time. All they do is talk sports and you're like, uh-huh. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I totally get you. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I cannot give a shit. Yeah. I don't know how many different barbers you ever visited, but I visited a bunch. And there's a lot of different ones out there, but also a lot of similar ones out there. Very similar archetypes. A lot of them just let me talk. So mm. I don't want to talk. And so it's great when I get one that's just silent. I love that. Don't you love that when they just cut your hair and nobody talks? Yeah. Like I, I would hate almost, it. I would almost I've prefer for them to let me put my AirPods in and then yeah, they just go same. to work. I have it also. The one I hate the most is when they don't talk to you, but they're talking to the other barber next door. Oh, uh, and they're getting distracted and they stop sometimes. And they're sometimes. just talking to each other. Yeah. And I'm like, please just cut my hair and actually pay attention <laughs> to cutting my hair. Yeah, I hate when they stop sometimes. I'm I like, hate doing, I hate it. I'm just like, just do it all the way. I can tell you're distracted. Now you're stopping. Now you don't remember where we left off. And you, Shit. you don't really care about this haircut, do you? No. Music. We're doing a four-person quartet. Just fucking barbershop. But um, but um, but um. But um, bum, but um. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't know we were going barbershop quartet on here. We're, that's the uh, music. That's the vibe. That's what you're listening to. In the lonely hour. Bum, 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 bum. 
<laughs> Will you be mine? <laughs> like, fly me to the moon. <laughs> yeah. And let me. Yeah, that's that's the that's the vibe. Pricing. I see this as a forty dollar game. I I disagree. <laughs> I see this is a thirty dollar game. Thirty dollar game. Yeah, dude. It, thirty dollars. It, it, it's in VR. It's gonna have state of the art hair physics. Yeah, I think. And on, uh, we're not changing the level. All you know, it's gonna be pr- practically the same barbershop, just different people. Yeah. And it's gonna. I have, think you could change or like buy decorations because it's like for right. a person. So you could like change cosmetically what's around your barbershop, give it a different vibe. But there isn't too many assets that we're going to be creating. We're just going to be really honing in on hair and yeah, yeah, emotions. Let's let's meet down the middle. Thirty four ninety nine. Okay. All right, Alex. Time to start your timer because it's time to name this game. Begin. Barbershop. In five seconds, even. Nice. Barbershop is a game where, as you can imagine it, you play as a person in a barbershop, cutting the hair, doing the fades, trimming, styling, dyeing, and more. In barbershop, cut every kind of hair out there in the world. Long hair, short hair, Braids, straight hair, thin hair, all in barbershop. All right. So I think we have a game here, Alex. What do you think? Would this be a game you want to play? And is it fun? I think it'd be fun. This is not a game I play. So I would try it out. And to be clear, I'm just going to be super honest. If there was a demo, I would play the demo. If the game came out and people had like different memes about it, like then I might play it, but to to pay thirty five dollars for a VR haircutting game, uh, I just don't know. I think I'd have to be going through something. Like someone would have to tell me, like, "Yo, bro, when you're having a real anxious day, this is the game." Like, and, and if there's a news article about this game, and then I'm like, "I just need to go back to the barbershop and calm down." Then maybe. How about you, Jay? Would this be a game you'd want to play? Probably not, but I think. The most satisfying thing, I think this would be a PSVR 2 exclusive. Uh, and <laughs> what it would do is the ASMR and the this haptic was, feedback. Was, this one's going to be a system seller, Jay. PSVR 2 exclusive. You just, you just, the feeling when you press R2 on the new controllers, the one things that PSVR 2 is going to come with. Yeah, if and it it's clicks, the haptic feedback. And it's if like, it makes the click and then that, the, the that, buzz, sh- that would be that, good. That, uh, you know that that and then, feeling and of then cutting they, wet hair that yeah, and if it's, they nail it's like it, a crunch like the buzzing where the zzz, zzz, oh, if yeah, they the, nail uh, yeah, and then you feel a pimple is like oops, whoop, a little bit of blood. Sorry, and like uh, just like the the sounds and stuff about it. I think that's that's the highlight of this game. I now that trailer. we have a complete game, what game studio would you sign to be able to make Barbershop the best? Um, I'm going to defer back to you, Jay. Go ahead so and find my it. first one that comes to mind is the developer. Hold on. Hold on. Do you want me to go? I got mine. Well, I forgot the name of this game, apparently. I found it. I found it. Hold on. Wait for it. The name of the developer is... Uh, Why is it so hard to fucking find out what the... People who right. made this game so is called. I'll go. <laughs> the developer I'm thinking of is from Fruit Ninja, Half Brick. I think they would be able to develop and make a very satisfying hair cutting experience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mine's Bossa Studios, the people behind Surgeon Simulator. 
Mm-hmm. Just because mm-hmm. VR experience, it's essentially a similar type of game, but one you're being a surgeon, and one you're 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 a barber. I'll, yeah. I'll throw a wild one out there. Uh, we'll give it to. Um, Give me a second. We'll give it to Crystal right. Dynamics. The people because behind spe- Tomb Raider? Yeah, specifically because at the time, <laughs> people were like, look at Laura Croft's hair. Jesus Look Christ. at it fucking flow and move. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> everyone's got really nice hair. All right. Well, I think for the unique conversations, the story, and I think this game would actually sell a whole lot more if we gave it to Squatch Games. Hmm. <laughs> I actually have the perfect one. It's Ready at Dawn. The people behind The Order 1886, who now primarily make VR games. And so That's let's just one. make them look, make the highest fidelity hair physics video game possible, all in VR. That's a good and one. With that, our 211th IP has gone gold. We hope you look forward to this experience that will probably never release. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to give us extra support, please head over to patreon.com slash wearenotgamedevs. For just a dollar, patrons receive episodes early and an extra podcast at the beginning, which caught the tail end of our conversation at the beginning of this episode. That's patreon.com slash wearenotgamedevs. Like, rate, and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. And if they ask for a review, instead of reviewing our show, become your inner game critic and review... Barbershop, the video game we just created. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next Friday with a new with another new IP. Again, my name is J. E. And I am A G. Thank you. And please remember that we are not game devs. That almost sounded like Bobby Hill. Let me see if I can do a more breathy voice. But Dad. I wanna go with Joe to the party. <laughs> No, that's more like a family guy. Oh, Chris. Yes, Chris. <laughs> Have you been uh, doing the football at the high school? Oh, I bet they have you squatting low, huh? You need any towel, boys? Why'd I do that, Jay? Why'd you let me do any of that? Let's just cut all that, please. No, no. Up- you ready for this? You ready for this, though? Men, 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 manly men, 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 men,